Welcome back guys. We have a little bit different video today. Um, we're not on the cabin. We eat about a dozen eggs a day and you know the price of eggs have been getting high. So we decided to inquire about some chickens and I called uh, my dad and he talked to some Amish guys. They had some chickens to sell. So tonight we are getting 20 chickens. So I don't have a coop built for them. I plan on building a nice coop, making a video about that. But in the meantime, <clears throat> this puppy shed that we built for puppies, we are gonna try to turn into a chicken coop temporarily. So we'll keep them in there and today we'll let them out for a little while. Um, so I've got to build some nesting boxes, uh, put a couple roosts in there for them to roost on, and then put some wire on it to get it ready for the chickens tonight. So we'll get started on that. I've got some scrap 1x12 siding from the horse barn that's left over, and I think it'll be just perfect for making nesting boxes. Here's our scrap pile, and I want to try to find... They're not as wide as I thought they were. Well, I guess it'll work. Alright, so let's take this to the house. I read online that you need a nesting box for four chickens. So I'm gonna make five nesting boxes, all consecutive, consecutively, and I'm gonna make them a foot wide. So to do that, I know this board's an inch thick, I'm gonna cut my two long pieces at five foot seven. Now we need to put a couple of roosts in here. Roost? What's roost? Something that they, they like to sit on stuff and sleep. Up off the ground. Like a bird in a tree. So we'll go find some stuff to put a couple of roosts in here. Up high, so they get up off the ground. 
How many chickens can fit in it when we're eating? Uh, one of us has to eat. Oh, fun. All right, we have a water uh, my dad had given us a while back I've held on to. We'll hang it up. Um, we're gonna put a roosting pole up and Sawyer went to the barn to get his gate. He has a gate that he built for the calves that didn't work out for something out there. And we're gonna try to turn it into a roost. Got it? Getting the nesting boxes ready. I'll put a board on the front of that. I'll go get a board and put it on the front so the eggs won't roll out if they lay eggs. Looking good. There's what we have from the roost on. We'll see if they'll all fit. Got three rungs on that back ladder. And then I roost all the way across here. All right, we have all the wire up on the temporary chicken coop. I think it's predator proof, but we will see. I'll kind of show you. Um, I just have this short door so the kids can come in here and take care of it or I can duck down and get in. It's not the most convenient, but it'll work. So we have the feeder, the water, places for them to roost, nesting boxes. So this is the, the finished product. Once we get our chickens, we'll have to start making plans to build a bigger chicken coop. We'll see how this works for short term at least, a few weeks maybe. All right guys, thanks for watching our videos. Thank you for following along on our little temporary chicken coop build. Hopefully you enjoyed it and the next video will be on the cabin. Put a whole bunch back there in that pack. Use all your straw.